All right, boys and girls, today I'm going to show you, if you are a nonfiction author, how you can turn your book into an Instagram account, actually a fully automated Instagram account, and leverage social media to build a readership and hopefully sell some more books. First thing, I'm going to show you what I actually mean with turning your book into an Instagram account. Here's one example of an Instagram account that I set up for the book The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Here you can see all the quotes and so everything you see here are little snippets from the book if your enemy is united separate them a leader leads by example not by force all of these little quotes are parts of the book and this account is posting one of these quotes from the, the book every single day automatically um, and as you can see this actually gets some good engagement 600 likes five comments um, 7500 followers and just to give you some idea of the potential, these are the statistics about this book. And as you can see, this account, The Art of War, is actually growing right now by over 150 followers every single day on Instagram, 188 followers every single day. You can see there's one new post going out every single day. And so I would say this is an outlier, um, but this is complete organic growth. I don't have any um, follow on follow or any um, ads running to grow this account. It's really people finding this account through the hashtags that I'm setting on the account. They like it, they follow it and they engage with it. And so you want to do that with your book account too, because if you can get it to this point, you will rapidly create a new audience for potential readers. And then you can put a link to the book, for example, on Amazon in the description and people can click on it and buy your book if they like the quotes and so now the rest of the video will basically be the process that i'm using to create this account that you can follow to do the same with your account and as i said this really works the best with non-fiction books because if you have a fiction book and you put a quote in here you will probably spoil the the storyline so this is really mostly for non-fiction authors so let's jump into it and so the very first step is what you want to do is you want to go through your book and turn it into, I would say, 60 to 90 quotes or snippets from the book. That means for about two to three months, you have one new post every single day. And after that, it can repeat itself. And you don't want to go too high because you really want to pick your best quotes. And you don't want to go too low because you don't want to keep half the account repeat quotes too often. And also, just to give you an idea, um, The Art of War had very short quotes. You don't have to go as short um, as that. Here's another account that I set up for the book Skin and the Game. And as you can see, some of these quotes are much longer than they were on The Art of War. For example, this one you can see is quite long. So I would say you want to pick snippets from your book that are one to five sentences long. Not longer than that, otherwise the, the quote will be, the font will be too small, but it can definitely be longer than one sentence. And you want to pick snippets that are standalone pieces of content, something that people can read and that gives them value just by reading that. So here's, for example, a, a book that I got from a current client that I'm turning currently into an Instagram account. I actually just finished that. The easiest way to do it is you get your book into PDF format and then you start going through the book and whenever you find something that you know wor would work well for example this one right implementing a plan is a distinctively different endeavor from conceiving a plan that's a nice little thing that works as a quote that makes sense as a standalone piece you can just copy paste that and then my process is you just have a spreadsheet open a google sheets open and you just copy paste that thing in there boom and then you keep going through the book and as you find a new quote, think basic talent is the key to success. Think again, recent research shows that talent is actually overrated. Instead, passion, perseverance and positive outlook are the key to personal growth and accomplishment. And as you see, this is a little bit longer. This is actually three sentences long. This still works well, but it is a kind of cohesive piece of content that people can just read that and get some value out of it. You don't want to have parts that don't really make sense on their own. You don't want to be sneaky about it and think like, oh, I'm just going to give them half of the quote and then they have to buy my book to get it. No one will read your book if you do that. So do things that make sense on their own. One to five sentences long. And again, copy paste it and then put it in your spreadsheet. And just keep doing that until you have, I would say, 60 to 90 quotes. You don't want to go under 60 quotes. You can definitely go over 90 quotes. You know, if you have 100, 120, that's all good. 
just choose the best ones. You can always go through them again and, you know, delete the ones that are not as good. All right, and now once you went through your whole book and you wrote down and copy pasted all of your, you know, 90 favorite quotes into the spreadsheet is the second step. And the second step is to actually design the quote posts and there are multiple ways so we can go about it. I use Photoshop to create them. Here's, for example, the template that I'm using for the quotes for the art of war, you know, a little border here, some symbols that actually mean the art of war. And then here, um, a little note on, you know, daily quote from the art of war. I really like that. And then here in the middle, that's where I'll put all the text for them and save them. Here's another one that I actually created for the book that I just showed you, the dis discipline strategy from a client. And again, you just create this initial kind of design. And then once you have the design, you can just go into your spreadsheet, copy paste your quote, go in here and save it. And then you just need to make sure that you make it fit the borders. Sometimes you need to maybe adjust the font a little bit or something, you know, to make it fit or not fit. And then you save all of these pictures. Um, if you're not well versed in Photoshop or you don't have it, another thing that you can use is Canva, which is canva.com. It's a free tool that anyone can use. I can highly recommend it. And then you can here go to create a design and there's actually Instagram post here and then it gives you a couple of pre-designs that someone already designed that are free to use. And then you can go in here and kind of change this from and then your book title or something. And then you can go in here and paste all of your quotes by author. And then you can download all of these pictures and you do this step by step for all of your quotes so that at the end you'll have 60, 90 images or however quotes you have. Obviously, if you're neither well versed with Photoshop or you don't want to use Canva, you can hire a graphic designer on, for example, 99designs.com. Probably you want to use the same fonts and colors as you use for your book. So if your cover is red and blue you want to use the same red and the same blue for your quotes and if you use the georgia font in your book you want to use the georgia font for your quote just so it's on brand it will probably take you one to two hours maximum to do it and then you're done and you have all your images all right once you created all your image post for your quotes you want to create the instagram account for your book where the automation will post the quotes to so you just go to instagram.com it actually shows you usually sign up you can create a new account you choose your your username you probably want to choose the name of the book your email and a password and then you create account and once you're in the account you really only need to do a couple of things which is set the name usually you want to just go for the name of the book maybe add the author your name behind it too um, for the bio i like this format a lot which is the first line is kind of a little bit more details about the book usually you can just use the tagline of the book i can actually show you different different account but yeah use the name of the book and then the first line, I always like using the tagline of the book here. It's a guide to make great decisions, become your own goal and accomplish your goals. The second line, I usually just confirm to people what this is. So this is daily quotes from discipline strategy by author. And you can actually add your name if you have your Instagram, if you have an Instagram account. So people can go check out your name. And then the third line is just to tell people to get the book. And then in the link, you put the link to the book, whether you have a website set up for the book or the Amazon link to the book. So that's the first step. You want to set up a bio. And as I said, I really like this three line design that works for me, but you can choose your own description for it and use a little emoticon in front of it, which makes it looks nice. And then you want to set up a logo for it. As you can see here, I actually only copy pasted, you know, the name of the book. And then I put a little board around it. You can again use Canva for it to create that or Photoshop to create it or you hire a graphic designer to put it together for you to go back to skin in the game. It's kind of same idea here. The art of war, same idea here, you know, just to give you some examples of what this can look like, you know, Sun Tzu, the art of war, a little board around it. And then same idea here, name of the book and author in the title and then three lines. Ancient wisdom delivered straight to your feet so people know a little bit about what it is. Then a reminder, daily quotes from the Art of War by Sun Tzu. And then third line, get the book and an Amazon link 
to the book. All right, now the next step, once you have set up your Instagram account is that you need two services that you need to sign up for so you can run the automation. And the first one is buffer.com and the second one is Bulkly. I'll put the link to both of these websites in the description, but you need to sign up for both of them. So for Buffer, when we go to the pricing, you can choose the smallest plan, the pro plan that, that is gonna be $15 per month and you sign up create account and this is a very popular tool actually to automate the scheduling and posting to the Instagram account and so once you're in here what you want to do is connect your account there you go to manage social accounts and then once you go here it will let you add a new social account boom and then you'll choose Instagram here and then what it wants you to do is log into your Instagram account that we just set up with a login info email and password and once you've done that it should have added it to your accounts and they will be listed here with your accounts so that's the first tool this is what's going to allow you to automatically post the course to your Instagram so you don't have to do it manually every time you need to make sure that you turn the Instagram account that you just created into a business Instagram account because only then you can automate the posting that is only possible on the phone so I can't show you a screen share of that google it and it will give you here a description why and how to switch to an Instagram business profile you can just follow this step-by-step -step process and it will tell you exactly with the screenshot how you can turn it into a business account you will need to set up a Facebook page for that I'll put this link in the description too um, this you need to make sure to do that before you can connect your Instagram account to buffer once you've set up your buffer you want to set up your bulkly again pricing you need to sign up for this Again, the smallest account will work which is $12 per month so in total it will come down to $27 per month that you'll need to pay but then really everything is taken care of everything is automated and you don't need to log into the account you don't need to you know look out for the posting you don't need to do anything after you did the initial setup so it really saves you a lot of time and it runs on autopilot so again you want to create an account here you want to log in and then this is actually where you'll upload all of your images and what bulkily allows you to do is two features one is randomization and two is shuffling buffer allows you to post automatically the post to your instagram what bulkily allows you to do is to shuffle and randomize them so you'll just upload all of your 60 to 90 or however images you have to bulkly and then it will every day it will pick one of these 60 to 90 quotes by random and also once it ran out of the 60 to 90 quotes after 60 to 90 days it will just start from the beginning again so it keeps running and keeps running and you don't need to renew it every time it will just run indefinitely and it will randomize the sequence so it will not always be the same order of quotes so the last step that you'll need to do to set up your automation is bulk upload all of your images to bulkly and so what you want to do here is go to content upload and this is where you can upload your content cv and so what we want to do is just download a sample CV and save that to our desktop. Once you downloaded that CSV file, you wanna to go to your Google Drive and create a new Google Sheet. So you can open this CSV file in a nice and neat way. All right, we go to file, we go to open, uh, upload, and then you can select a file from here and we'll upload that CSV that we just downloaded as the sample CSV. And this will basically tell you in what format you wanna upload the images to Bulkly. And so you see here, there are four columns. I will just explain all those columns for a quick second. And then I show you an example. The first column is the group. And this is really just the name that it's gonna be called once it's in Bulkley. It's this name, Egos the Enemy, Fins Reminder, The Out of War. So you'll probably just want to choose the name of your book here. Social update in this column actually goes the, the caption underneath the image post. So if you go to the Out of War account, the caption is this thing. So for me, it's just a bunch of hashtags. You can change that for every post or just keep it the same for everything. This thing you don't need because this is actually um, an URL and you can't post URLs to um, Instagram, so you leave it free. And this link will be the link to your PNG file. There's an example. So that will be all your image squares that you created so Bulkly can pull them in. All right, and here's an example of that exact spreadsheet created for the book Discipline Strategy that I showed you earlier. Here, first group, this is the same thing for everything. It's just the name of the book and the author. Here in the middle, that is the caption. So actually what I did here is first 
just saying again daily quote from the book discipline strategy by ad and then the instagram tag of the author the line free and then i researched some uh, relevant hashtags and put them all in here discipline strategy um, you know discipline 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 self-discipline positive discipline and all these you want to do that for your niche for your book whatever you know industry or you know readership target audience you're targeting make sure that you research some hashtags that are relevant to that so people can actually find your book and then you can just auto complete that for all of them so that takes care of the first and second column as i said the third column just leave it empty but keep it there because you know both these still looks at this column but you can keep it empty and then the last column is the links to all of the quote images for all the quotes so if i click on here you'll see there's an uploaded image of that quote for each of these quotes and i'll show you exactly how to do that you just need a hosting platform and the one that i use is imgbb.com I've tried a couple other ones, Google Drive, the Dropbox. I haven't gotten it to work. If you have a WordPress blog site, you can upload it to your blog site um, and then host the images there. That's probably even better, but I use this site. And so what you can just do here is bulk upload. You say upload and then you browse it from your computer and then you should have a um, folder with all of the quotes. This is actually another account that we just set up, 68 quotes, you can open them boom and it uploads all of them to the cloud let's just quickly do that all right once you did that and all of the images are uploaded you now need to grab the link for all of these images this is actually the first one here's a tricky thing that you need to make sure that you're um, doing that this is probably what it will show you and this is these are all the links to all the images that you uploaded. These links actually don't work. For some reason, Bulkly wants links that have a .png at the end of the link. As you can see, this is an HTTPS link, but it has .png or .jpg, however you are exporting your, your photos in one format. And as you can see, these don't have that, so you can't use this link. So you wanna go to BB code full linked. Boom, you click here. And so these are all the links that you want and you copy all of them, boom. And then you can just, I won't paste them in the same line, but you can just go here, copy, paste, and as you'll see, you know, pasted all of these links in here. But you need to actually modify this link because as you see right now, there are these brackets saying URL, blah, 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 and then brackets again saying image and then bracket. You need to remove all of these brackets, these brackets until it's PNG at the end and you need to remove the first two bracket thingies from here to the beginning until you have this link https blah 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 dot png this is the link that you need for all of the quotes and so you need to go through all of these um, remove this beginning part remove this ending part again https png go to the next link not this first HTTPS, the second HTTPS is that what you want. So you remove this, remove the bracket, remove this stuff at the end, boom, and you move on to the next one. You need to do this for all of these links again and make sure that you have them in the right column, which is the fourth column underneath image URL. As you can see, I did this for all of these links. It's all the HTTPS and they work they immediately go to the image. Once you've done that and you've finished your um, Bulkly spreadsheet with group in the first column, the title of your book, your caption for it in the second column, I really like this format, daily quote, your book name, your, ta your tag on Instagram so people can find you too, and then researching some hashtags, you wanna do probably 20 to 30 here, and then edit all the image URLs that you uploaded here. Once you did that, you go here to file, download, and then you want to save it as a CSV file. Save it on your desktop, CSV, save. All right, once you've downloaded your CSV file, you can go back to Bulkly. And this is where you'll just upload it, upload content, CSV. You'll click on your whatever, we can just use this one. And then it should automatically bulk upload all of them to your Bulkly. There you go, and they're all in here, boom. And then the only setting that you need to do, first you select your account, it should show up here, that's the account that you uploaded 
into your buffer. Those are these accounts. You select the right one. Here's the discipline strategy Instagram account. And then there are a couple of settings that you want to make sure one is enable recycling. Boom. That means that once it ran out out of all of your quotes and it posted each quote once, it starts going through them again. So make sure you enable that. Keep this disabled. Shuffle post. Yep. Have this enabled. If it's disabled, enable it. Hashtags, you can actually also include the hashtags here if you don't want to put them in the in the CSV file or the spreadsheet as we put here, you can put them here, you know, hashtag discipline. If you're connecting them to other accounts and you can actually post them to multiple social medias, if you want, you can also set up a, a LinkedIn company page for your book. You can also set up a Twitter account for your book. You can also set up a Facebook page for your book. It all works the same way. You connect it the same way to Buffer and then it should, up, should show up here and you can actually select all of these different accounts and then it will post it to your Twitter and to your LinkedIn and to your Facebook. Um, but we're only doing Instagram for now because I think this format works best for Instagram. So you can add different hashtags for different platforms here. If you're posting it to different platforms, we already added it to the spreadsheet. And then here's schedule, what you want to do. You want to have it on daily 1x. That's at least the, the usual. You can maybe post two per day if you have a lot of quotes. But I would say the ideal is really once per day. You don't want to post you know, one every hour that will just spam people, but you can play around with this and then just set a time. Usually I just do 10 a.m. the next day. So it starts then no end date. You can leave all of these turned off this on zero save boom and then you should be able to activate it. And now it showed up on your content upload. It's actually not yet scheduled. So we need to make sure we did something right here. Well, please sometimes get a little buggy. I don't know. I don't think they have a lot of users. But if you have any problems with it, just send this friendly guy in the corner a message. This is Chris. He's usually pretty responsive and will help you out. Activate. All right. Now let's see if it worked out. Now there we go. Now it's in the, in the active column. You see it down here. I'll actually delete it right away, but it will tell you one post per day just so there won't be any posts going out on my account. But yeah, that's it. Once you've done that, it should now automatically post one of your quotes every single day onto your Instagram account automatically with the hashtags. Just check in the next couple of days to see if it's working. As I said, sometimes it can get a little buggy. Feel free to message Chris the friendly guy in the corner if you have any problems or maybe write me a comment and I'll try to help you out with that. But this should be all the steps. Now you shouldn't need to do anything anymore. It does everything automatically. Um, if you get lucky, it gets picked up by the algorithm and your account grows by 100 to 200 followers every single day like the Art of War. But as I said, I think that's an outlier. So don't expect that as the result. If you're getting growth, that's amazing. After you did that, there are some best practices. You want to put it in your bio, you know, your personal Instagram account, something similar to what... Um, I did on my personal Instagram account. I put, you know, building Project 33, my company, and then curating um, all of these different accounts. You want to do the same if you have a personal Instagram, write author off and then at your Instagram account so people find it. You can run ads if you want to and spend some money on it. I don't think it really makes sense unless you have already a big audience that you can run it to. You know, tell your followers on Instagram and on LinkedIn and on Twitter that there's now an Instagram account for your book. Let them know, link it, tell people, post some of the quotes on your personal Instagram account just so you get some initial traction. Let people know that it's out there. And yeah, that's it from now on. It's fully automated. You don't need to constantly create new content every day. You don't need to go in there and manage the account. Everything is taken care of. That's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys um, liked it. If you liked it, leave a like, maybe subscribe. I might make some other videos like this. And yeah, good luck with it. If you have any questions, any details, let me know. I put all the links to the things that we discussed, Buffer, Bulkly, the hosting platform. I'll put all the links down in the description so you can find them there. Um, and then see you in the next video. Peace out.